Hello everyone, Wendy from First Up, back to share some more poetry and at the same time celebrate more about Earth Day today. Um, so yes, April is um, Poetry Month and this collection of poems is written by Ludwig van der Wooder and illustrated by Robin Gourley. And as we look at the front cover of this book, we see beautiful trees and its title, we can read the title, Forest Has a Song. You might say that, wait a second, how does a forest have a song? And we think about um, the idea of personification, right? We can give qualities of a person to um, something that's not alive or, or is the forest alive? I guess we could debate that. And what is a forest? We have an illustration on the back that shows an example of these collection of trees. And we could talk to children in our lives about trees. And when trees are all together like that, it creates a forest. And so, yeah, we have, uh, oh, and here's a dog on the front cover. It sounds like my dog Rocky may be excited about checking out a forest. And we notice inside the cover, part of the forest, maybe different trees, right? So as we're exploring the book, we're learning about the front, the back cover, and even the inside and the illustrations, right? Looking in closer at details. So poetry, one of them, or even in language, one of my favorite things is called alliteration. When we notice the similar sounds in the beginning of words, um, the initial sounds. Um, in this uh, poem today, called April Waking, you can see these beautiful ferns, a type of a fern plant on the, one of the poems we'll read today. We're going to notice some alliteration and we can point out the sound of the letter F. Right, the letter F we're gonna hear in the beginning and even the letter G. So you may notice those sounds while we're reading. And we can notice and even point out to our children when we find the letter F in the poem or even, wait a second, there was an F on the title of our book as well. So let's try April Waking. Bernie Frondly Fiddleheads. Unfurl, unfurl, curls, from dirty beds. Stretching stems, they sweetly sing. Greenest greetings sent to spring. Whoa, that was cool. Some tongue twisters for me in there. Ferny, friendly fiddleheads. So these are like the fiddleheads, right? We can notice the different parts of the plant. Unfurl curls from dirty beds. Hmm, what does that mean, a dirty bed? Does the plant sleep in a bed? No, maybe we can look outside and notice the plant bed, a little different than our bed, right? And get some movement in there too, stretching, right? We can stretch like the plants do. Stretching stems, they sweetly sing. Wait a second, do they really sing? Hmm, that's something fun to talk about with our children. What does that mean in poetry? And then there's that letter G, 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 greenest greetings sent to spring. And that is a lovely green color. Wow. Poetry can be a lot of fun. Let's try one more. I thought this was a fun one. When we think about um, spring, new beginnings, trying new things, sometimes it feels scary. So when we read a poem, it might help us to even think a little bit about feelings. Um, and this one talks about a mommy that's encouraging this animal with the wings stretched out. Who, who could it be? I think I see an owl. And this owl's mommy's helping him. Sometimes we might have a different family member that helps us. Maybe a dad or a puppy or an auntie or a titi. Or what do you call the special person in your life that might help you? Okay. All right, so we have many different names for our loved ones that help us. But in today's poem that's called First Flight, it's called The Mommy is Helping. Let's see what it says. Mommy, I'm scared to be this high. All owls are scared on their first try. My tail feathers feel so tingly with fear. Ooh, you can do it. Calm down. Careful now. 
steer. I can't see a thing through all this black. Ooh. Just go to Spruce and come right back. Flap, 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 whoosh. Flap, 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 swoosh. Look, Mom, I made it. Wow, I can fly. I knew you could. You were born for sky. Wow, sometimes it does feel scary when we try something new that we've never done before. Awesome. It's great to have someone that loves us, encourage us to help us and say, you can do it, or I knew you could. There's some great movements in that one. We could, we could run around and try and swoosh and whoosh with our bodies. Thanks for sharing poems today. I hope everyone has an amazing Earth Day. Take care, everyone. See you next time.